Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of the Planet Zoo Beta, and probably my last episode, because I still have the glitch where it doesn't allow me to save properly, and it makes it a little hard to build, and I've been really busy this past week, so, yep, that's probably it until we get to the main game, where hopefully it will be fixed and I can play a lot more, and probably hopefully not be as busy, because it is in November, I shouldn't be busy that time. But anyway, in the back you see we're building a Cape Dutch house, a typical South African architectural style, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And But unfortunately, this can't go on the workshop. If you wanted me to put this on the workshop, I cannot because, uh, like I said, the saves aren't working. For me, I can't save things. It also means I can't put stuff on Steam Workshop. So, hmm, unfortunately, there's no, no Steam Workshop for now. Well, there's a chance everything on the Steam Workshop will be wiped out anyway. But don't worry, when the main game comes out, I'm definitely going to go back into this kind of theme. So we will definitely, you'll definitely see more builds of this, and I will put those on the workshop. But anyway, Cape Dutch is, like I said, a South African uh, type style, found in the Cape, Cape being the western side of South Africa. And obviously being built by the Dutch and kind of inspired by Dutch architecture and some other European architectural styles. You know, some of the features of this is that you generally have white walls, like all, all the Cape Dutch houses have white walls, and then usually thatch roofs, but we don't have thatch roofs, so what I've also seen done is people have the, I don't know, just plated roofs, and usually it's a, they use green as coloration, like to color the windows and the doors, so, as well as the roof, so you can see I have a green roof, and later you'll see the doors and windows will be green. And one of the, um, one of the key features of this building style is just the the way the walls on the side of the roof come out. As you can see here, they kind of go above the roof, kind of stick out, stand out a little bit. Not sure if I explained that right, but yeah, you can see the wall extends beyond the roof. And there's many different ways of doing that. You can have it round like I did. Some places have a mix of round and triangle pieces and such. So, there's so yeah, well, that's what we're doing there. And in the front of the house, you'll often have a similar pattern to the sides of the house. And there'll be an entrance doorway in that little front bit. Yeah, so Cape, Cape Dutch style is mainly found, I think, in the Western Cape. Uh, not West, like, just the Cape in general, which is the Western side of South Africa. And But nowadays, it's not as popular. Obviously, it's lost popularity. And you do find it in some old towns, like some towns where they haven't really changed from a while, haven't torn out the old houses and built new ones. So you can still find the Cape Dutch style, style houses there. And primarily where I think you, you find houses is in farms, mainly wine farms. Like when I went to Cape Town, I did go to a, little, a wine farm and there they had a restaurant and chocolate tasting place and a wine tasting area. And all the buildings there were in this Cape Dutch style, so obviously they renovated, they kept the old house that was originally built on the farm. Yeah, so when I think Cape Dutch, I think farms, and the Johannesburg Zoo, the zoo that I've most prob probably most visited, and the zoo I'm most familiar with, yeah, they their farmyard also has a, they have a Cape Dutch style in their farmyard, I'm pretty sure. So they also had the similar idea of me associating Cape Dutch with farms and such. Yeah, so definitely in the future, once Plan Zoo fully comes out, I'll definitely go back into this Cape Dutch style, build some more houses, bigger houses, try and mess around with roof styles a bit more, have different variety. Maybe I'll do farmyards or maybe something else. Mix it just, I think maybe I'll, what I want to do is an entire Cape area. So I hope I can do that. Anyway, you can see me working on the doors and windows there. That door I had, that was the only recolorable door in the beta. I really hope in the main game they actually give us a bit more door variety that we can use. You can see me struggling with the windows in the back. And you can see that green, like I mentioned, they're often in Cape Dutch styles they use the green coloring. So yeah, the next few minutes is I was just messing around with the windows so I decided to cut. And now you can see I am building a I'm not sure what it's called, the little shade structure in front of the house using these uh, wooden, these white wooden beams. Because uh, I don't know, it's actually quite useful to find these white wooden beams. I'm just 
hope also these get recolorable because well there's just white and then there's the other normal wooden one and with this uh, shade structure I do kind of extend it over the entrance doorway I think what I what I prefer to do if like I do it in the future I just have the shade structure on either side of the house and then the entrance doorway doesn't have the shade structure you can see me putting some pillars in and now I start yeah I believe oh we put some uh, plants growing on top of the, the shade structure so I guess it kind of acts as a I forgot what that's called the thing the, the climber I think the climber where creepers crawl on and stuff and we'll just put some yeah some ivy around the sides of the house just make it look a little bit overgrown like it's been here for a little while but still somewhat managed and stuff and these ivy pieces are quite nice actually they're, they're a little better than planet coaster I think I think planet coaster the ivy pieces were a lot bigger and now you have a lot more smaller ones so <coughs> can be really more precise don't have to go all out with that just have a slight touch and here we make the balcony using some of the nice brick and yeah yeah just I was trying to find a border. I think in the end I go up with the walls for the balcony. Yeah, use the walls and just have one step there. In a the minute we should start working on the garden. Any time now. Let's... Oh, now we're adding a path. Which, yeah. So just to add, give a bit more atmosphere to add a path. And yeah, now we start the gardening. And I do use those lobster claws in there. Because they look a bit like Streletsias. So Streletsias are an indigenous... South African plant that you often see in gardens and the lobster claw looks slightly like the Strelitzia although Strelitzias are only have one flower on the stem these lobster claws they're more of a spike meaning they have like lots of flowers on one stem but at a glance they look similar and also going with the aloes because I don't, I don't like that one aloe that's just a row of aloes with all flowers in the same height I don't think that's realistic. Every time I see aloes, they they never so neat and organized, man. They like most of the time I see aloes, they either have no flowers or the flowers are it's just a dead stalk. You hardly see them blooming. So I don't really like those aloes. Uh, and also aloes when you see them, always different textures and different sizes and whatnot. But yeah, these I don't know why, but all the planet zoo aloes they're just growing. This ah uh, they. We all have flowers except for the small one. Yeah, but, but enough about flowering aloes. As you can see, I added a path around the back, and this is where I decided to turn it into a cafe. Because initially I was just going to leave it as the front of the house, and then decided let's add the path. And then once I added the path to the back, I was like, you know what? We've got to add some picnic benches. You can see me adding some trees around it just to give it a bit more atmosphere. Yeah, and then I have a big old baobab there, so we can just say, there's a big old baobab and all these other trees are a bit more younger been around more recently yeah now we start adding the picnic benches and then afterwards I think yeah I decide obviously need the tree for shade structure so I thought this would just be a picnic area and we have those planters they, it's weird the planters though there's no like they're a bit small I should I assume I, I probably could have made a custom one using the mulch pieces and that maybe in the future and now we added a little, I had to add a little barrier. And afterwards, in the end, I do adopt some P file so they can, uh, when I have the cinematic shots, just make it a bit more atmospheric. Although the P files do not like this thing, I don't know, maybe they're allergic to the baobab. The, the animal need requirements are so unrealistic in the franchise mode. But yeah, the P file, this map was gonna go at the end of this anyway, so I didn't care about P file needs. At the end of this, the map would just restart and they would be in my trade center again so and you can see we're adding the food stand so I added chief beef and I think it's the gulpy yeah you can see me putting the signs up and I think we approaching the end of the time lapse and see adding just this food court so yeah once again I'm sorry this can't go on the steam workshop I will in the future try Cape Dutch style again and that will go on the workshop if if they have Frontier fixes us. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, or when Planet Zoo comes out. Bye!